Spill the Tea is sponsored by the Spice and Tea Exchange of Rehoboth. Okay, you guys love the drama. We have talked friend drama. Yes. We've talked relationship drama. Oh, yes, we have. Today is some family drama and some baby mama drama. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> sort of, kind of. <laughs> Not in the way you're thinking. Yes, uh, which means, of course, this is our Spill the Tea segment. Thanks mm -hmm. to our friends at the Spice and Tea Exchange on Rehoboth Avenue yeah. in Rehoboth Beach, where we spill the figurative tea, but also the literal tea, which today, if uh, you frequent a certain coffee shop and you love their dragon fruit refreshing drinks, <laughs> now you can make it at home Ooh. because uh, the dragon, fu dragon fruit fusion tea okay. is very similar. Uh, this vibrant herbal blend combines the exotic flavors of pink dragon fruit, hibiscus, and pineapple to create a tropical vacation of taste. I didn't expect the pineapple. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ideal for those seeking a fruity, refreshing, and smile-inducing cup. And talking about fruity, we have more honey with oh. honey. And this one's grapefruit. Yes, saved this one for last because so this is of the three that um, I've tried. Mm -hmm. This is the one that I was most excited for. Can I, do you think I can try a little? Do it. Okay. Cause Leah Get already, in there. Yeah. <laughs> Leah already put some in our cups, but you know. Yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This one's light. Yes. Ooh. And I think the other ones, the mm -hmm. blood orange and the key lime, the flavor is really subtle, mm -hmm. which is great. But this one kind of brings its own punch to a. This has a punch. To any of the teas that you would be trying. In a good way. In a really good way. Yeah. Or again, like just that on toast. Yeah. Day Ooh, made. in toast. I'm mm -hmm. going to throw some in here. Boom. Okay. There you go. Let's All right. pour I'll some get tea. Pour in. Okay. So, uh, like we said, we have some family drama for you guys. So, uh, we've all been there, but maybe we haven't been here. So, there is a 17 year old. And her name is Lark. Mm -hmm. Cool name, right? Yeah, really cool name. Yeah. So Lark has a sister named Barbara who's in her 20s, and Barbara's having a baby. Mm -hmm. Yay! Barbara and her husband like the name Lark. So it's you might a think, cool name. It's very cool. So you might think, cool, naming the baby after your younger sister. Skirt. No, Barbara doesn't like Lark. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's kind of accusing Lark of like gatekeeping the name. She's accusing her of straight up stealing the name, which if Barbara knows how things work, that's just not how that works. <laughs> we don't pick our names. We also, well, we can, but she didn't. I mean, unless, yeah, like, I mean, unless Lark had changed her name to Lark at some point over the years, mm -hmm. but that doesn't seem to be the case with the information we have. Because no. Lark is saying, like, don't look at me. Oh, Yell yeah. at our parents. They're the ones that named me. Right, and like, also, she didn't change her name ever to like once she knew what you wanted to name your kid. Right. So like this is just strange to me and I don't understand this. I've been there where like I've talked baby names with my fiance and he says yeah. one and maybe it's like someone I used to date mm -hmm. or like a girl I didn't like in high oh, school. Oh yeah. So we've been there where names can get ruined for you. Oh sure. <laughs> like it's not their fault. But it's not their fault, yeah. And I, I feel like holding somebody accountable for having the name that you want, especially because it could be kind of a cool family name now right. where you're like, you know, you've got Aunt Lark and you've got Little Lark yeah. or whatever. Like I don't know. Yeah. But I don't. I get it, but I don't get the extreme drama that people go through when it comes to baby names, and people do get so dramatic about them. So dramatic. So this is one that, like, Barbara, I don't think we can help you. I think you got to help yourself. You I, I think there's a, this is some deep-layered issues that uh, I don't even know where to start. Yeah, no, we're not qualified <laughs> to help you, Barbara. We yeah. can help Lark, but not Barbara. We can help Lark, and I think for Lark, it might be one of those situations where, like, maybe you're just in less contact with Barbara for a little while. Yeah, you guys Sounds like space. she's not the best sister anyway. She's also just 17. Like, this right. she's got other things to worry about. I do. I'm going to grab my phone really quick, whoop, because some of you guys commented on our Instagram. Yes, there were some pretty funny comments yeah. that you guys had to chime in with the conversation, which don't forget, we do turn this conversation mm -hmm. over to you guys. Keep an eye out on our socials mm -hmm. for the tea so that you can participate in it as well. Yes, but you guys are funny. Um, we have one that says, I could recommend a few self-help books for Barbara. <laughs> Sounds like Barbara might need it. <laughs> Barbara, yes. And then someone said, hold up, I'm great with riddles. Is the answer delusional? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, but not off base. No, not no. Not off base here. I, yeah, I think it's obvious whose side we're on. Team Lark, I'm going to name my kid Lark now. Yeah, Barbara. Right? <laughs> Just for you, Barbara. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to name it Lark, Barbara, whatever last name Something the kid else. gets. Something else. Yeah, Some, I haven't decided yet. But, um, yeah, that's a, that's a fun one. Very interesting. But Do you want to, well, I put my mouth on this. Try. That's okay. Okay. I'm going to stir it. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Okay. Give it a little stir. Yeah. If you want to use, I didn't lick that part. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. Not that we <sighs> I keep probably, spilling oh. it. I filled the cup to the top. <laughs> We're having some trouble. It's this beautiful pink color. I just want you to see it. <laughs> Stick with us. <laughs> here we go. Ooh. Mm hmm And the dragon fruit doesn't Ooh. even really need the grapefruit honey, but together, that's 
summer magic right there. Well, but the aftertaste is like, is, oh, the hibiscus that you said, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I'm getting that as like the after. Yeah. Mm. So this would make an excellent, I think, iced tea. This is one of my favorites. This was one of my favorites Ooh. too. Mm -hmm. So uh, like we've said, we've been counting down the days to the official start of summer, which does start this afternoon. So uh, when we wrap things up, make sure you go to Spice and Tea Exchange, mm -hmm. get yourself some of this and celebrate some summertime. Awesome. But, uh, we gotta take a quick break. <laughs> Maybe write down dragon fruit fusion herbal tea and we'll be right back. <laughs>